ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today the topic is called Counseling the Adult Learners Part 1. <laughs> Um, so, for all the suggestions and advice, you can put me through the links in the description section below and I can give you all the insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Today, the topic is quite a long one. Okay, um, today, you know that we have uh, increasing numbers of adults interested in the continuing education or the career transition. So there has been a concomitant uh, increase in the need of um, the uh, counselling. So the study today and research was done by D. Silvestro in 1981. D. Silvestro offered resources um, for practitioners who would like to establish or revise the um, counselling programs uh, for adult learners and uh, in the following areas. So the first one is about the community-based model for counselling uh, the adults and the second one is about the workplace counselling and the third one is, is the uh, private sector counselling model and the fourth academic re-entry counselling and the fifth one is counselling the adult learners in the university and the sixth one is the comprehensive counselling services and the seventh is the careers in the large hospital counselling and the eighth um, one is uh, diversity counselling and the nine counselling the services for adults in the public schools and ten is career guidance in eleven computer assist career guidance and finally number twelve is using the non-traditional uh, approaches of course I'm not going to talk about all of these it will take ages so I divided the topic into two parts so today is a part one part one I'm going to talk about the community-based uh, models for counseling adults, the um, uh, workplace uh, counseling and the uh, academic re-entry uh, counseling and also private sector counseling services and counseling for other adult learners in the university and uh, finally I will, I'm going to focus on the comprehensive counseling services. So actually th this topic I'm going to give you is just a brief one and uh, I suggest that I got a list of books um, down in my um, description section. You can look through them or you can look through the, uh, the book through the um, Amazon. You can find the similar book and you can buy one and can read. It is really interesting book. And if you are really interested in what you need to know for your profession and organization, I suggest you can buy book through the links below. I put it below in my description section. It will really help you. And furthermore, reading is really good for you. Reading can help you to see more insights of what you already know and give you suggestions and give you um, more knowledge in so many areas of your profession and also the society, the organization, etc. So I, I really deeply encourage everybody need to read in a certain times of your life. It is amazingly important. It's amazingly good for all of you okay now let's get back to the topic of course today i told you already i'm going to focus on uh, only the six area so the first one is a community-based models for counseling the adults so of course i'm going to uh, focus just two of the organizations for every organization they have different features so today i'm going to focus on the women resource center and the education information center so the Women Information uh, uh, Resource Center is um, the purposes for this is to serve the, of course, serve the needs of women that are returning to the education or re-entry to in the workforce or seeking a new life duration. And the study and research was done by Ironside 1981. The services that Ironside suggests is um, for women uh, resource uh, center is to 
the drop in recession, information about learning resources and opportunities, the same as all the uh, other learning areas, just that the old women. And uh, our vocation, focus on vocational uh, training and job hunting assistance. Others include like career planning service with the individual interviews and groups, and psychological uh, testing, uh, discussion panels and educational programs, courses, and workshop tailored to the needs of women, of course. So the training programs suggested by Ironside in this area is that they have 15 hours of a theory. This is just an example study and research by Ironside. And, um, they have 15 hours of theory and practice of counseling and six hours of uh, each in the area of, of uh, vocational planning, learning resources and information bank. And the relationship among the health, nutrition and stress management and of course focus on the mental functions. So the community-based model used is called the institutional model. Okay. Now the second one, of course, I told you before that I'm going to focus on Iron Sykes research and study on the educational information center. The purposes of it is to conduct the council's um, principal activity and visible agents in the community to facilitating the cooperative progress by educational institutions, identifying both overlays and gaps in the provision and prompting experimental projects and performing leadership or the catalyst role locally to expand the learning opportunities. The services suggested by ISI is the center administration in charge by the director. So the director's colleague conducts the client counseling and the secondary or the receptionist in charge of the handling of the most information and the telephone queries and the data files such as information materials on a broad range of learning opportunities, local and uh, national education, training, employment, and labor market information. Other services include career and vocational planning, linking of skills, referrals, individual counseling, and some outreach and client advocacy when necessary. So the training program suggested by INSI is the majority of the clients just working. We Normally, uh, or often the women outnumber the men and the age is between the um, 23 and 25 and over 50s and low to middle uh, income, sh they share the center using the council support projects, for example, a directory of local institutional resources and an energy conservation information center. So the model use, of course, the community council and the consortium models. Uh, according to Ironside, he quote, the involvement of institutional providers and individual citizens in a cooperative undertaking release much community energy that can be, can be directed toward improving local access to learning opportunities. Okay, these are just a, of example the remote uh, women resource center and the education information center. As I said, just an example of the uh, community based models for counseling adults. So you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything because I bring you new topic, new insights and new uh, ingredients every Monday and Thursday. And also I notice some of you come to my channel, you browse, you listen and you participate and uh, you watch but without subscribing it. So why not uh, you just um, hit the button and subscribe to my channel and you will also help my channel to grow. Thank you very much. Now we come to the second area of this topic is the workplace counseling. The study was done by Levine and Piggin in 1981. So Levine and Piggin, they, uh, they studied a young man who um, dropped out of college at an early age and worked at the maintenance job for many, many years, but still cannot meet uh, uh, the end, making the main end mix very well. So as a result, the WordPress counselor contacted him and assessed him uh, and enrolled him in a, in a local um, community uh, college. But the man, the, uh, he feared the test and he feared the colleges because he has a bad experience of the, during a young age. So the uh, counselor had to find an alternative way to convince him to go back to do part-time study. And after a while, the, um, uh, the benefits that the man received uh, reassured that the situation out there has changed, the teacher has changed, and um, he was quite happy with the counselor's planning. So he go back to, went back to study in the college part-time. 
So the above is just an example of the counseling in the workplace. So nowadays, can you suggest where can we find the counselor in the workplace? That's a question for you. You can put your comment down in the description section below. I mean the comment section and uh, we can discuss about it. Thank you. Okay, the above is, uh, I have mentioned uh, already. So the suggest by Levine and Piggins, um, they, they are suggesting, the suggestion is a counselor can be found by like, those counsellors who have overcome the barriers and have had some educational success but become hooked at a natural advocate for worker education. Of course, this is just the suggestions of Levi and Piggins. You have your own suggestions and you put your answer down in the comment section and let me know, okay? The second suggestion uh, for Levi and Piggins is they suggest that there are four steps in counselling process. Um, First step, the counselor informs the employees of what opportunities are available so that the counselor know how, why and what to help. And the second step is the counselor helps the workers to identify and assess his performance. Example, the short-term goals, does he want to go back to school for personal enrichment? And the third step is the counselor provides information and helps the workers to reach at the desired goals. And the final step is the counsellor offers a link to institutions and agencies that will serve the employees and the students. So a counsellor could be an advocate, could be an educator and link with the union. The union is a natural environment for the workplace counsellor. Do you agree? Let me know. You can put your comment down in the section, uh, comment section below. Okay, if you like the content, of course, uh, remember, remember to put your thumbs up and uh, share it with your friends, okay? The third area I'm going to discuss with you is the private sector counselling models. The private sector counselling models, the counsellors are normally the assistant managers for the units. And they may use resources such as local uh, colleges, the universities, consultants, coaches, libraries, and uh, uh, of course, competing businesses. So factors that consider for counselling at the private sector are, according to Littman, are the assessment uh, process, the learning contract, and the learning strategies. So the learning strategies include the degrees, certificates, and courses, include the coaching and the counselling, including the continuing education, including the volunteer or professional groups, and including the reading and the audio visuals. All right. Now, the fourth area I'm going to cover today is, of course, academic re-entry counselling. Magano and Corrado, they are the research for this area. And they quote, re-entry adult students are professional for flexibility, convenience, and uh, individualizations require institutional responses that are diverse, holistic, and match to the changing needs of lifelong learners. Okay? So after re-entry, students may have experienced bad sides of colleges or universities. They view colleges and universities as alien environments, infested with malfunctions, administrative uh, policies, and instructional practices and support services and languages. Everything is bad about colleges and, uh, and universities just because they have bad experience. So therefore, it is important for the counsellor to recognise the following adult students' needs. For example, the academic survival skills, personal and social development, instructional patterns and administrative policies, and also student support services. Very important. Okay. Now, finally, uh, no, the fifth area I'm going to talk about is the counselling the adult learner in the university. The study was done by Novak and Schreiber in 1981. So student services uh, areas in the university employ many, many experienced counsellors and advisors cater for the many, many of the university's students. For example, the study strategies, career, past, financial assistance, etc. They can train more staff, for example, like cooperation among the administrat uh, administrators valuing different uh, areas of expertise. They can Train more staff, for example, the, uh, for student development staff willing to teach others in appropriate helper skill survivors, uh, skill areas. They can train more staff uh, as like a coordinated person, 
train the coordinated person or system that is receptive to the needs and suggestions of adult students, uh, educational administrations, uh, administrators and counsellors. They can train staff for like student develop, development workers, work consistently with the office officials and committed to concern uh, on recruitment, retention and program development. They can train the staff, for example, to discover more supportive and efficient ways of servicing and dealing with the adult students' needs. And also understand the, the staff that understand the professional services lead to quality of the educational experience that the university can offer to the students. Now we come to the final area of this topic, which is comprehensive counseling services. So it operated by communities cater for individuals who want to seek information for re-entry, which consists of individual counseling sections, for example, on the phone or face to face. It also covers information on courses, programs, procedures, and degree requirements. It also covers new students courses selection. It also cover help files all students come across and act on petitions for exceptions to rules and regulations. And also it cover provide for, to provide a student's handbook to orient the new students, assist students who most uh, who must withdraw or who experiences academic difficulties. And it covers, uh, it consists of conduct um, free study skill workplace and also certify that applicants for graduation have met degree requirements. And comprehensive counseling services also consists of arranging for annual um, commencement, commencement dinners to honor the graduates. That's, fin that's all for my topics today. So in conclusion, today we have learned that the particular organization prob probably would have quite different features in the counseling model. For example, I have just mentioned uh, uh, before about the Women Resource Center and the educa Education Information Center. Okay, today we also learned that um, how do we find a workplace counselor? We also learn to, to answer the question of how do we find the workplace counselor? We also learned that the factors to consider for counseling in the private sector are the assessment process, the learning contract and the learning strategies. We also learned that today the choice of adult re-entry students had experienced back sides of colleges and universities. And student services areas in the university employ many, many experienced counselors and advisors to cater for the many, many of the university students. And we also learned today comprehensive counseling services operated through communities cater for individuals who want to seek information for re-entry. That's all for my topic today. And remember, uh, for awesome suggestions and advices, you can book me through the link in the description section below so I can give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. And also subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything because I bring you new, uh, new topics, new insights and new ingredients every Monday and Thursday. And if you like the con uh, content, remember, remember to put your thumbs up and uh, share it with a friend. And that's all for me today and thank you very much for tuning in and be with me today. Until next time and goodbye.